The next step in solving the Rubik's Cube is to solve these four edge pieces in the middle layer in order to solve the second layer. Now in order to do that, you need to flip it over so your solve side is in the bottom layer. The green side is on the bottom. Now that you have it like this, look for one of these four edge pieces that does not have blue in it, like this one. Rotate this so this red lines up with the red right here. And you need one of two different algorithms. One is the left version, one is the right version. This is the left version of the algorithm because it needs to go to the left, so that way it's white and red. And it's going to be up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. There you got that. Didn't mess. Yourself size up. Here's the case where this piece needs to go to the right instead of to the left. In this case, it's the same algorithm like the last one, except it's backwards. It's up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. Oh, dang it. Up, up, front. There you go. Once you've solved these first two layers, you're going to have one of four different positions on this top blue side. Either this blue dot, and to get it from this blue dot to the next position is this. Front, right, up. Right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. And you'll get this L. Sometimes you'll start right out of the gate with this L. This L. And... When you get this L, you want to hold this out it is in the upper left hand corner, up that way. And when you have it held this way, do that exact same algorithm, front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. And then you get this line. When you have the line, you want to hold it horizontally, so that way it's like... A line that's going this or that way. When it's held this way, do the do that exact same algorithm: front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, in order to get it to go to the next position, which is this cross. Once you have this top cross solved, you may notice that not all of these sides quite line up like they're supposed to on the green side. Well, when this is the case, you need to rotate just the up layer until you find two that line up next to each other. There is another position, but I'll get to that later. Do this algorithm in order to get all of these lined up. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted, then you do one more up, to line all of these up, and you solve a cross. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where the two that line up are across from each other. And this is the case, do the exact same algorithm to get them all to line up. Right, just hold them that one of them is in the front face, one of them is in the back face. Then do this algorithm. That's the exact same algorithm to get them all lined up. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. Then you have two that line up next to each other, and you can just do it. No oh boy. Bam, bam. Now that you have this top cross completely solved with all this lined up. Your next job is to get these four corner pieces in the correct spot, but not really flip the right way. Sometimes you'll find one in the right spot with the correct orientation. I'm going to go off with this one. So do this algorithm in order to get it in the right spot, but not necessarily with the right orientation. So the algorithm is up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left, and you have to either have to do that once or twice. In this case, it took me just once in order to get 
all of these lined up. Sometimes you'll find yourself where two, some of them line up. You can either have one or two that line up. You should never have more than two that line, that line up. But I have had all of them line up on me. But the next step in solving the Rubik's Cube is to flip these. Now, and this seems like you're messing up everything already done, but it comes together in the end. Trust me, it does. Hold on that any of the unsolved corner pieces are in the bottom right of the up face, and then do this algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And you just repeat that until it is finally up in the right place with the correct orientation. There you got it. That last down part may seem pretty useless, but it comes in handy when you're doing this. Once you have this top co first corner solved, rotate just your up layer until another piece that is not solved needs to be flipped. Solve it. Run, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Then you're either one or two turns away from solving your first 3x3x3 three 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 Rubik's Cube. Congratulations. That is completely it.